Hey everybody, it's Woobits, and we are playing Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery Year 4, Chapter 6. Explore the Forbidden Forest. It's time to gather your friends and enter the Forbidden Forest where you'll encounter more dangers than just the Cursed Vault. Like centaurs? We're gonna be horsing around? What have we got? We can talk to Charlie straight away, which is pretty great. Um, I'm gonna change out of my pajamas. And also, I've been getting a lot of comments about it, and uh, for the most part, I agree. We've had the sunglasses on for long enough, and it's inhibiting acting. We need to be able to emote a little bit more. We might we might switch to that something else if you guys want something silly. Maybe we'll put on a monocle or something as a nice compromise. We're gonna put the good old patchwork back on because it's just it's comfy. It's comfortable. It's a big quilt. We're about to go fly into a forest. We're gonna want to have the extra padded layers because there's probably gonna be brambles. There's gonna be all kinds of other things going on. And we want to make sure that we're safe out there in the forest. Hey guys, just logged in and there is a new event. This has been being advertised for a little while, but it's just now actually shown up in my game. So I'm going to show it off. I think this weekend it should be live for everybody. Uh, but Dueling Club is here. And this is notable in that not only do we have a cool dueling outfit that we can pick up, but instead of this being PvE, player versus environment, or however you want to define that, this is actually PvP in that we will be competing against one another. Your opponents are, in theory, gonna be live. I, I'm not entirely sure how that's gonna work. I'm gonna check it out real quick. I will fight a real person, I assume. I thought I knew everything that goes on the Hogwarts, but I've never heard anyone mention this room. I like the looks of this place. What happened to the carpet and the walls? Was a battle fought in here? So all of our kind of year one friends, I'm not sure what the requirements are for being able to jump in, but Dumbledore, give us the lowdown! Welcome to Hogwarts Dueling Club. Here's the club. I'm gonna duel you with it. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. This room was built years ago as a safe and supervised environment for students to practice dueling. I'm sure you've noticed the damage caused by various fire-making spells and blasting curses over the years. <laughs> we leave this destruction as a reminder that casting a spell against friend or foe can have lasting implications. I shouldn't set my friends on fire indefinitely dueling exists as a sport but may also save your life as many know firsthand from the wizarding war i want all of you to learn this important skill before leaving hogwarts but only in this place under our supervision yes <laughs> i'm not gonna duel anywhere else all the time the professors will oversee every duel led by our resident dueling champion, Professor Flitwick. Use this as an opportunity to challenge yourself and your classmates. We will take note of your performance and reward those who do well. And remember that the spells and potions you learn in class will help you to become a better dueler. And now for my blathering, face off two at a time and ready your wands. It's time to duel. Alright. Okay. So, we have to win eight times. How did this do? Okay, I left and came back, and Sprout's here to cheer me on. And I have three tickets that I can use to find an opponent. I'm not sure how often tickets are replenished. Chloe! Second year, from France. Um, I am at a distinct advantage over you. And I'm not convinced that you're a real person. It's just straight away. Because that was entirely too fast for you to come back. So this may be, like, she's probably a real person who's actually from France. Maybe, and we only get her first name. I don't know. If anybody gets 
Will in this outfit and fights against it because uh, I'm gonna be doing this a good bit And obviously this is all just rock scissors paper and it, I, If this were real there would be a long delay going into some of these Just because of the internet of I sit and think about it for a second and it would be like waiting for opponent waiting for opponent And I'm getting my butt kicked I might lose actually Yep, I get a huge bonus to the amount of damage that I do when I do get a point in Like I get an extra 10 on top of this. That's nuts. So, sorry, Chloe. It's interesting that the, her actual Facebook picture there. I think the condition for playing is that you have to be um, connected to Facebook. So there will be whatever your Facebook photo is, is probably going to show up here. So it might be your real face. Keep that in mind. That might not be popular with some people. Um, I currently have an illustrated avatar. So you will know it's me because it's my little avatar character. Um, how often do these come? I still have tickets. Do I just keep tickets? Do you only lose? Do you only lose tickets when you lose? In that case, if you're really good at this, you might just barrel on through the whole thing. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this on camera. I will kind of play through this as available, just because I don't think duels are that interesting, especially against random people. Uh, but I'll show off the costumes and stuff whenever I get it. It'll just be in the background while I'm doing the proper video. Charlie, what's going on? How's it, how's it hanging, man? Oh, night time. It's pretty out here at night. I like it. Well, any luck convincing someone to let you borrow a broom? Marilla let me borrow her broom. She said Madam Rakepick told her to help me find the next cursed vault. Sounds like they both know more than they're telling. Are you ready to go? Not yet. We should bring one more person with us to be safe. Who do you want to bring to the Forbidden Forest? Hmm. Oh, so I've definitely flubbed this in that you have to have a rank 4 with Barnaby Lee in order to bring him. And I do not have levels that high with him. I've been focusing a lot on Bill Weasley, actually, and also and also Penny, just to have they're they're really high. They're like level eight or nine for me right now. Um shoot! Barnaby would have been great! Because that would have had both of my creature guys backing me up, but I've missed out on that opportunity. So keep that in mind for your own game. If you want to bring Barnaby before you start chapter six. Friend him up to level 4. These are the kinds of warnings that would be helpful for me if you guys are ahead and know these things. But that's fine. We'll cruise along best we can. I think Bill is more useful than Rowan here. I like you, Rowan, but I think Bill's tougher and more handier. I'll ask Bill. He's the most powerful wizard I know. Good choice. He'll probably boss me around, but there's no one else I'd rather have by my side in a scrap. We're gonna roll with the Weasleys. Rowan deep. I'll keep studying the Forbidden Forest map. Meet me in the Clock Tower Courtyard. Alright, okay, cool. I can deal with that just fine. How much did I miss it by? Oh yeah, I'm only level 2 with Barnaby. Um, um I need to get those guys up. You can see, like... <laughs> On this side, I'm really, really high leveled, and then down here, it's a little slimmer pickings. Uh, you know, that's fine. We'll get there. Okay, Bill, looks like you got the short straw. I'm a little bummed about this. Not because I think Bill is bad. I actually think we're gonna make the best of an adventure with the Weasley brothers. Sometimes I question my decision to remain behind. Oh yeah, you question your decision to go to heaven and experience perpetual bliss instead of spending hundreds of years looking over the shoulders of uh, elementary school kids? Well, high schoolers. No, I think you made the right call. Um, just because so often there's a right choice in that, like, 
sometimes some of it some eventuality comes up where like oh ben was able to hide the evidence oh you know this character managed to prevent you from losing house points i brought <laughs> professor snape preparing some particularly poisonous potions nice alliteration penny ruler said she saw fangs woman in the back lake she can't be telling the truth can she uh fang are we gonna find that her that doggy how well do you know the Zonko's employee built in bills? There's something peculiar about that man. Something unfathomably attractive. Um, so anyway, I'm just paranoid that there's gonna be something that, like, because it was more difficult to bring along uh, Barnaby, that, like, he would have been able to do something with a creature that's going to leave me a little bit behind. But it's fine. We'll make the best of it. Thanks for meeting me, Bill. You're my first choice. Sure will. I could use a break from my prefect duties. These first year Gryffindors are out of control. I wanted to see if you'd fly into the Forbidden Forest with your brother Charlie and I to search for the Cursed Vault. Why me? Well, you're the most powerful wizard I know! And I didn't have enough friendship points for Barnaby. I mean, you were my first choice. Besides, you can't tell me you don't want to break the curse on another Cursed Vault. You see, curse, curse breaking is why I think this might work out is the other possibility. Of course I do, but if we get caught in the Forbidden Forest, we'll definitely get detention. Getting detention could hurt my chances of making Head Boy. Madam Regpick says making Head Boy gives me the best chance of becoming a curse breaker for Gringotts. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Let me explain the plan, and I think you'll see that everything will be okay. Alright. Also, our friendship is so high, Bill. Easy. I want to help, Will, but this could hurt my career. Why do you want me to go? Um, oh, let's see, you're a natural curse breaker. You're good at handling dragons. Nope, that's the brother. That's Charlie. Dragons is a very specific thing. What if we get caught? We won't get caught. I'm gonna say I'll take the blame. Oh, no, we won't get caught, it's better. Thanks, Will. I'm starting to understand your plan, but I still have questions. What would Rake Pick think? Um, she wants us breaking curses. She's like, she's like our patron in this whole thing. She's got our back. I'm worried about my career. You can still be a curse breaker. If anything, this will help. I'm nearly convinced, but a couple of things still aren't clear. The forest is dangerous. That's why we need you with us. Alright, that'll work. Alright, Will, I'll go with you. Besides, Mum will kill me if I don't keep an eye on Charlie. Gotta keep, gotta keep that guy straight. Thanks, Will. After hearing your plan, I'm pretty confident that we won't get caught in the Forbidden Forest. I want to help you find the next Cursed Vault, so you can find your brother, and I should keep an eye on my own. You're a good friend, Bill. I'll let you know when it's time to fly into the forest. Piece of cake. Eight hours until we can meet with Charlie. Guess I will keep working on classes in the meanwhile. I'm pushing towards this Niffler class. Alright, we got the group together? Oh, look at us! With brooms! I have a broom, Bill has a broom, Charlie, please tell me you're in the exact same- Yeah! We all- Wait, your broom looks nicer than mine. No, they're the same. Is everybody ready to fly our brooms into the Forbidden Forest? I'm ready, I just hope I don't get caught and ruin my curse-breaking career before it even begins. Just follow my lead! If we enter this specific grove, we won't be seen by the teachers, and we'll be close to the spot marked on the map. Let's get going! Whatever happens, stick together. <laughs> Alright, well, we're... We're gone now. See you in the Forbidden Forest, Will! Uh, all the way down to a new map screen. Ooh. Where's Charlie? He took off so fast I lost track of him. 
When it comes to flying, he's always been a bit of a show-off. Maybe he's already in the grove searching for the next cursed vault. Uh, we better make sure he's okay. Doom, doom, doom. This forest is, looks very forbidden. Still no sign of Charlie. Oh. Charlie, where are you? He probably wandered off, at least. I hope he did. Let's search for clues. Hopefully we'll find out something about Charlie or the Cursed Vaults, or at least not find monsters. Here we are in the forest grove. I'm gonna step out for just a second, because I want to look at, like, the rest of the map. Yeah, this is a whole map. It's got a forest grove. Spider's Lair. Is that somewhere we're gonna be visiting a lot? Keep playing to gain entry. I don't know if I want to gain entry. And then the Forest Lake, Red Caps Hole, Centaur Camp. There's some cool stuff out here. Um, for certain definitions of the word cool. All right. Let's spend three hours searching for Charlie. Which is held. Do I ever want to know? There are claw marks on these roots. With some kind of vegetarian monster eating roots <laughs> all right Charlie where are you hiding we got work to do in the forest I found some hoof prints do you think they belong to Charlie could be a unicorn for Charlie's sake I hope they don't belong to a centaur I should go about finding him, Will. Um, <laughs> I like that for 20 courage, we can just yell his name. Let's do it! Let's yell his name. What could go wrong? Let's yell his name. Hopefully he'll be able to hear us. And hopefully a centaur also named Charlie doesn't come by and just be like, Yeah. Uh, eh. Charlie! Charlie, where are you? Quit messing about and get over here. If he's not dead, I'm going to kill him. I have an idea. Let's send out a flare. <gasps> Familius. Oh, he was right behind us this whole time. Nice, Familius. Will looks real good. Charlie, where have you been? We worried something happened to your little brother. I was more worried about telling Mum something happened to my little brother. You were taking forever to get here, so I thought I'd have a look around. Unfortunately, no sign of the cursed vault. I must be missing something. I'd head deeper into the forest, but it's getting late. Don't worry, Will. We'll come back again. You're right. For now, let's get back to Hogwarts and search for more clues. Hmm. All right. Meet me later in your brother's room, Wilbits. I need your help finding something important. Okay. Well, hopefully it's a clue. Alright, we are ready to go meet Tulip, but I noticed another side quest has popped up. Involving Penny and a Polyjuice Potion, and I am intrigued. So let's go see what's going on with Pin. Oh, Dumbledore's here. Oh, how I love pumpkin juice. Hmm. Okay, is that a mis are you mishearing polyjuice? Why do you feel compelled to ruin my meal? Also, that is um not Snape. That looks like Sprout back there. So that's funny. Don't worry, you get the hang of Hogwarts eventually. Uh, I think I got slightly the hang of it by now. Well, something terrible has happened. It's worse than when my wand got tangled in my plates. I'm sure there's a charm to untangle your hair. I don't care about that. Plate? You mean braids? That's not what. It, that's definitely not what it said. Have you seen a witch sharpening potion anywhere? It just vanished. I spent weeks working on that potion. It's the most difficult one I've ever brewed. Don't worry, Penny. I'll help you find it. Witch sharpening potion. Ironically, easier to find if you hadn't lost it. All right. I give up. We're never gonna find my potion. Wait, 
What's Marula doing at the high table? Um, are you drinking the potion? Professor Snape, Professor Dumbledore, I wanted to show you my incredible wit sharpening potion. Let me see that. That's my potion! Marula stole it! In all my years as a professor, this is the most impressive wit sharpening potion I have ever seen a student brew. Headmaster, take a look for yourself. My word, yes, it is indeed an absolutely exquisite wood sharpening potion. <laughs> Let me just dump it into my pocket here. I would expect nothing less from a gifted Slytherin. Miss Snide deserves special recognition. Agreed, we should all aspire to match such admiral dedication and technique. Thank you, professors. Yes, I am the greatest. Yes. Of course, I only brew this potion to further my education, but I will gratefully accept your generous praise. <laughs> that phony, deceitful little rat! Which we do, Will. Hmm. Forget about it would be, you know, a thing. Make it right, get revenge. Hmm. Hmm. These two are very closely related. I think, I think let's just press get revenge. Don't worry, Penny. We'll make Marula pay for what she did. We will charge her for the price of that potion. And they are fairly reasonably priced. I won't rest until everyone knows that I brewed that potion. Follow me, Will. I gotta make this right. All right, Penny. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Never seen Penny this angry. I sort of can't wait to see what happens next. Meet me in the clock tower courtyard. I think I've worked out how to get back, Amarula. All right. Okay. Yeah. Is that Jane? I wish my fellow Hufflepuffs had a bit more of that competitive spirit. I think you're supposed to be gone, Jane. But that's all right. Well, the side quests have kind of a floating timeline. Maybe someday I'm as good at potions as Marula. We can't let Marula take credit for my potion. But how do we get her to confess? Alright, so we could brew Veritasium. Ver Verite Serum. Which I guess would force her to tell the truth. Let's attack her. Satisfying. Maybe not helpful. I kind of think this is the most productive because if she has to tell the truth, she can rat herself out and the truth, you know, well, since it, since she lied, it'll work pretty well. Ver Veritaserum is a powerful truth-telling potion. We can use that to make Marula tell the truth. Veritaserum, that's new level stuff. I'm good at potions, but that's too advanced. So, oh, all right, we can't make that. Fine, so what are we gonna do? Marula will never admit to us she stole my potion and lied, but she might confess if we use Polyjuice Potion. Polyjuice Potion? Doesn't that change your appearance? It does. It's extremely difficult to brew, but I can do it. You really think it'll make Marula confess? <laughs> I hope so. Let me tell you my plan. All right, three hours. That's a long plan. To just say, we're gonna dress up like Snape and have her talk to Snape or something like that. Or we'll dress up as Marula and you'll be like, Oh, I'm Marula. I cheated. But maybe you've got something better in mind. Let's find out, Penny. If you had a Polyjuice Potion right now, who would you want to look like? Well, I guess I'd put in my own hair and make myself look like me. Because... Sure. I understand that you want to use Polyjuice Potion, but the big question is, 
Who are you going to turn into? Who do you think could make Marula confess? Marula's mother? That's dark, she's in prison. Hmm, I think Snape is the funniest option here. Um, cause Dumbledore could probably do it. We don't, we're not, we don't have access to Marula's mother. I'ma say Snape, just cause that amuses me the most of those two options. Professor Snape is Marula's head of house and a strict teacher. She'd confess to him. Exactly! Marilla would confess to Snape in a heartbeat if he challenged her. You're gonna make yourself look like Professor Snape? No, I'm gonna make you look like Professor Snape! That's- No! I do a terrible Snape impression! Hello, it is me, Snape, the potions master. Why me? Someone needs to distract the real Snape so he doesn't walk in when we confront Marula. I can get Snape to talk to me about the nuances of potion making for hours. Tell me if I'm wrong, but it seems like he hates you. You are- not wrong. It takes a long time to brew Polyjuice Potion. I should get started right away. I need you to help me gather the ingredients. Alright, this is gonna be a long side quest and three hours until we can do the next thing. So we're just gonna scamper on over to meet Tulip and get the chapter moving along. Whoa, hi, hi, what are you doing here? Hello, bits! Uh, what is she doing here? Huh? Hmm. To be alarmed, bits, I distrust Marilla as much as you, but we have to be logical about this. I can't find a specific drawing of your brothers, and Marilla spent more time digging around this room than anyone. Are you upset, Wilbits? Yes, of course I'm upset! You brought my worst enemy into my brother's room after everything we went through to get her key in the first place. I rarely see you this angry, Bits. I like it. Hmm. I'm sorry, but you should remove emotion from the equation, Will Bits. You, 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 you cold-blooded hobgoblin. You're, uh, I'm quoting Star Trek at her. If Marilla can help us find the drawing, we can find the cursed vault, and you can find your brother. I suppose you're right, but I still don't like it. Especially now that I know Madame Rakepick ordered Marula to help me find the next vault. Well, let's have a look. I promise to respect your brother's memory. Mm. Sorry, respect his belongings. I didn't mean to make it sound like he's been dead all this time. <laughs> she definitely has been. We need to make sure we see behind everything. X-ray vision lumos! Much better. Let's find that drawing. Three hours to go. Let's check it out. I'm really curious if the drawing is this big blue sketch of a door over here. Where I guess, I don't know, I'm thinking of how many times you can just draw a door with chalk in kind of magical stories like this. And turn it into a real door. But I may just be thinking of Peter Pan for that. The theatrical version. Okay. Is this the drawing you were talking about, Tulip? It's a picture of Marula. Uh, and I drew a bunch of stink lines coming out of it. And she has a mustache. Huh. Oh, no, wait, no, sorry. It's this other thing. Yes, bring it searching, Will. I guess we never needed Marula all along. Great, get out. I used to harder than both of you combined. Beats just got lucky. Like always. This drawing's a closer examination of the grove we pinpointed as your ideal entry point to the Forbidden Forest. So... what? So look at this structure just beyond the grove. The only reason I know of for a structure like that in the Forbidden Forest is a centaur camp. You think my brother saw a connection between the centaurs and this grove? Hmm. I do. I think you should search deeper into the forest next time while making your way closer to that camp. The question is, who would you bring with you? Hmm, I could bring Marula for freebies. Um, I could also bring Tulip or Penny. I've got everybody available as there. And as much fun as it would be to bring Marula, like I'm seriously considering it. Um, I actually think Tulip is probably the harder person to bring at this point. Penny is really easy to level. She's almost maxed out for me. Um, let's bring 
Tulip. Yes. Yeah, let's bring Tulip. You should come with me this time, Tulip. You'll know what to do if things go bad. Excellent choice, Whippets. I have some theories about the next boss design and potential threats. Honestly, she's the one who's on the up and up, and I'm kind of, I'm, I mean, I know I've got your broom, Marula, but hey, how could you come in anyway? I have your broom. I've wasted enough time with you two. I'll find the vaults myself. We better get going. If my brother got mixed up with centaurs, he might need our help. Maybe he's just been tied to a tree for like the last four years, and some centaurs just been like, mm. And every time he tries to do anything, that that just he's just he's just like slowly withering away next to that tree. How sad. I'm ready. Let's head into the Forbidden Forest. All right, let's go. We're gonna just move straight through. Forbidden Forest. And she's just here. Great. This is the grove we searched last time. We can't just fly into the middle of a centaur camp uninvited. So, we'll have to walk from here. We'll be uninvited in other ways. Oh, hello! Somehow more naked than usual, centaur. You can try, but you will not get far. I, your, we. You don't mean any harm, Mr. Centaur. We're only searching for something. What are you searching for, human? A cursed vault? My brother, nothing. Uh, we can't say nothing after we just said we're searching for something. Even though this is the point button, this feels like, that feels like a trap. Um, if you say, I'm looking for something, never mind, it wasn't anything. I think my brother is the most sympathetic thing. Although the cursed vault is specifically what we're looking for. Let's talk about family. He's gonna empathize with that. We're looking for my brother. We think he could be somewhere in the forest. What is your brother's name? Jacob Bits. I should have known. We don't want any trouble. Then you should have never entered the Forbidden Forest. It's there in the name. Keep back, Tulip. Be careful, Bits. Oh no! We're fighting a centaur! I've had enough dueling, and I haven't yet gotten my dueling spats. So, okay. Oh, he's tough too. Let's go! A good start. Yeah, give me a couple of those. A lot of people have been talking about the different strategies, and <laughs> one of them seems to be literally just spamming um, aggressive so that your opponent never gets to use it, because Depulso just seems to be one of the strongest spells in the game right now. If you guys are struggling with your own dueling fights, it's worked pretty well here! Three strikes and you are out of here! Depulso! Nailed him to the wall. Now you're tamed. Now I get to ride you. Bring the saddle, Tulip. He's our horse now. He's our horseman. And that's how this works, right? It's awkward. Our, um... Our relationship with horses gets really weird when they're like sentient people. It's um, there's a centaur civil rights in there somewhere. Then return what your brother stole. What? What are you talking about? I never knew he'd been to the forest, let alone stole something from a centaur. Is it the arrow? He probably stole an arrow. Your brother stole an arrow that belongs to me. An arrow that once belonged to my father. An arrow? Oh. Oh yeah, no, I do have an arrow. Um, here you go. Is it this arrow? I found it in the last cursed vault. Cursed vault? Why didn't you say so? Where is the arrowhead? I... I don't know. It was like this when I found it. How did it get inside of a cursed vault? Who is cursing vaults? Aren't they secure enough 
as it is. I know about the vaults, but don't understand how something of mine could get inside. I don't know. I, I hardly understand anything about them. How do you know about them? Can we be friends? Can I ride you? Can I ride you, Torvus? I'm not sure I know your name, but I do. My father told me about the forest vault when I was very young. He warned me to stay away. I never gave it much thought until your brother arrived years later. Sindars are taught to stay away from human affairs, but I wanted to help. It was the worst decision I ever made. Jacob claimed that someone had disturbed the vault, unleashing a curse on Hogwarts. He asked me to help him find the vault, and he said he needed this arrow to break the curse. It's missing a jeweled arrowhead, a cherished heirloom that has been with my herd for generations. The part you have is the worthless part. I can make a, a twig and stick it in the, the arrowhead, you nerd, you jerk, you loser. I wanted to help your brother break the curse, but refused to give him the arrow. Instead, he used his magic to steal it from our camp. I never saw him again, no matter how many letters I wrote him, or how many hearts I drew on those letters. They said it was my fault for helping a human. I was exiled from my herd and have lived alone ever since. I'm sorry. Your brother is the one who should be sorry. If I ever see him again, he will be very sorry. You were almost very sorry, but you were surprisingly good at dueling, so, um, I'm still kind of aching from that. If I find your arrowhead, will you take us to the Cursed Vault? I will read the planets. They will tell me what the future holds. Mercury, Venus, Earth, my- oh, it's always the same planets! You never told us your name. Torvus. Oh, I, I was cheating and I read it off of the thing. Thank you, Torvus. I'm Will. I'm Tulip. I'm also here. Be careful with this one, Tulip. His clan cannot be trusted. Kind of glad Marula's not here. She'd be like, oh, no, I know. He sucks. He's the worst. Have her, like, duel me in the back when I'm not looking. All right, that's the end of that chapter, but I have not done either of these lessons. We're jumping for the Niffler. I know you guys have been secretly wondering, when's he going to get to the Niffler? Where's the Niffler? He talked about going to the Niffler, and then he didn't show us the Niffler. Here's the Niffler. We're doing the Niffler. Hey, look at the Niffler. Well, he's so cute. I want to squeeze him till his snout pops off. Esmelda wants to do the same thing, but not metaphorically. What's that rake pick woman doing here? It's a good question, actually. Hey, watch your nuts around these creatures. I mean, your um, currency, coins, not... You, you know what I meant. Uh. Welcome back to Kera Magical Creatures! Today we have a special guest, and I don't only mean the curse breaker extraordinaire Patricia Rakepick, although yes, she is there, I think. She's kind of in me blind spot. Oh, yeah, she's there. All right, great. <laughs> Madam Rakepick is also off with a little study, her personal nifflet for today's lesson. That's right, for some reason, she's got one. Not really supposed to keep us pets. Yeah, you know. Thank you, Professor Kittleburn. As I'm sure you know, I'm currently employed as a curse breaker with Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Gringotts Head Goblin assigned me this Niffler to burrow underground in search of treasures hidden in cursed sites. That sounds useful for finding a jeweled arrowhead! He's very good at this job and very defiant when it comes to following orders, not unlike myself. What's his name? Sickleworth! Due to the fact that he is incredibly sweet and utterly destructive. Oh, like a honeysuckle, sickle, suckle. Seriously? Have you ever known me not to be serious, Mr. Bits? Uh, good point. Great. Eight hour task, hee hee yowza. Hopefully it doesn't take me a good eight hours. Welcome to Cat Magical Creatures! My artificial limbs and I will be your instructors! Mostly just them, I'm kinda on autopilot these days. 
This is a natural thing, great. Hey, quiet down there, Clappy! Let's begin. If you have anything of value, I suggest you keep it in your pockets! It's time to practice your ventriloquism. Have your, like, Good lips don't move, but mine do. <laughs> Look at this cute little niffler. Hey, buddy. Look, I just pulled, I just magically pulled a whole bunch of peanuts, a big bag of peanuts, out of my cloak. Carry that around all the time. You're welcome. Little platypus niffler. So, the trick, guys. To finishing eight hour tasks is just go to sleep and then just do it while you're sleeping. Easy. That's how I do it. Thank you for allowing us to study a Niffler, Madam Rakepick! My pleasure, everyone should be aware of the fact that keeping Nifflers as pets is not recommended. They are kind creatures, but they will steal and destroy your most precious belongings. Agreed! I've owned 12 myself! And, uh, well, these are the only clothes I own now. They didn't damage your home. Oh, they completely destroyed my home! And my butt! And my favorite replacement leg! I can hardly wait to get 12 more! So adorable that it's worth it! Alright, last thing to do is Weedo Soros. That's my favorite plant-based Pokemon. It's like a dinosaur. It's the Weedosaurus. Gets in your garden. It's not great. No, it's a potion, sillies. Oh, I saw Professor Kettlebin's alchemy snatch a plate of lamb chops from the Great Hole. I can't wait until one of your friends stabs you in the back, Bits. Let's make a deal, Bits. I'll brew today's poison and you drink it. Well, since you're terrible at brewing poisons, that's fine. It probably won't work. Ha! Ah. Today we will be brewing the potent poison Weedosaurus. And take great care to keep this concoction away from your hands and mouth. Don't even let a pane of glass come between. It's that potent. It'll go right through. If you do swallow some of this poison immediately, proceed to the hospital wing. The rest of us shouldn't have to be bothered with your convulsing. Yikes. Alright. Just three hours for this one, so that's the lighter cruise in. They're just finishing out our chapter requirements. Tasty, tasty poison. Who doesn't like to know how to make poison? Just stir it up with my wand. <laughs> Convulses to death. That's good poison! Hmm. Alright, class is complete. We may now progress. The wow. yeah, source brew appears to be sufficient. What should we do with our poisons, Professor Snape? Secure the stoppers in your bottles and place them on my desk as you exit. I have a very large giant to poison. Except for you bits. You have my permission to drink the contents in their entirety. Hey! Whoa! Whoa! Class dismissed. That is too openly hostile, Snape. And you're gonna pay for it. Nah, I'm kidding. You're fine. Alright, that's the end of that chapter! Thanks for watching, see you guys next time.